But now let's move on and let's talk about the job prospect in Saudi Arabia for chemical engineers. And of course, you are working in the paint industry, but Saudi Arabia itself uh, it has vast opportunities for chemical engineers. And normally, when people think of Saudi Arabia, they only connect it with oil and gas. And that is, of course, because they are one of the biggest providers of oil and gas. Apart from that typical industry, what other industries do you feel that are now it is growing in Saudi Arabia for chemical engineers? See, there are many industries right now. And, you know, uh, now with uh, with the new government uh, which is being formed, uh, they are open to the manufacturing division. Um, mm -hmm. Earlier, the export was at higher level. Now, the manufacturing is being emphasized and made in Saudi uh, is is going on. So, so now there is a vast opportunity. Whether you know the second big thing uh, after oil is the lubricants, uh, lubricant mm -hmm. division. Why? Because there are you know most number of cars going around. So, we need diesel oil, engine oil, everything. Mm -hmm. We have lubricant having a huge. Uh, mm -hmm opportunity you have the plastic division where you make this all the plastic bottles and everything so you know many many industry i cannot target uh, or uh, describe a specific uh, but once you go deep and uh, and you try to figure it out which industry i need to work there is a scope here okay. i can i can i can guarantee you that uh, so you know, you are landing with the first job uh, which is required. Uh, you are uh, you are working in that industry, and if you are trying to find out that industry in another country, that will be a a, a great plus point for you. So it should not be that if you are working in a in a you know oil field and suddenly you go to another industry and working in a water treatment plant or something like that. Uh, this should be the case actually. Uh, okay. So I will suggest that if you get your first job in that specific industry, try to work on that. You will find okay. a way. Amazing, thank you. Uh, but now you said you, but like you know, like you mentioned that with the new government that is coming to Saudi Arabia, there is a great deal of transformation that's happening in Saudi Arabia from being relied on oil and gas, but now they are trying to uh, divide up their pre industries into many different new industries. Uh, and you've been here and you've been in Saudi Arabia for the past seven years now, and you have been part, you have you you have been a witness to this transition. In your opinion and in your experience now, how do you see Saudi Arabia has changed in terms of the chemical market or for chemical engineers? A lot, a lot, a lot. Um, there are future projects which are in the line where a lot of uh, foreign entities are very much interested uh, in 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 the investment. So you can say uh, before the UAE was the international, uh, you know, the main foreign investor players. Now there is one more in the market, which is Saudi Arabia, because the added advantage of Saudi Arabia is the land. The market size is huge. Uh, so that opens the gate of many foreign investors to try to get their own manufacturing plant here or their own, uh, own capacity here so that they can fulfill uh, the, the, the market. Yeah, there is, there is, you know, a good, I think so, if you say five or six years, there will be a big transformation here, big transformation. Okay, amazing. Uh, and then final question I'll ask you is that, of course, oil and gas industry, it has been at the very top for the past, I don't know, 100, 200 years. But right now, even many oil companies, they are or at least claiming to go towards the sustainability sector. And the uh, but we have seen in recent times, of course, with the electric cars coming in and then all the other transformations, the oil and gas sector is, is people have claimed that it will start to go down in, in the coming years. For chemical engineers who would like to work in Saudi Arabia for the future, what industry would you suggest that they should keep a lookout, lookout for that is expected to grow in the coming years? See, I cannot suggest you a particular, you know, industry, but I will say a good use. You, you opened a point about the, you know, the energy transformation, which is going on. Now, if you can see the renewable, renewable division, the environmental friendly division is on a huge boom. So if you, if I throw this bottle, now the government will tell us to make a bottle, which will be recyclable. Mm -hmm. So in that section, if I say, Recycling operation will play a very important role in future. 
So okay. recycling is the one which need to be uh, done uh, in a certain way. And secondly, the energy where you bring the source, which you said the earlier it was oil. Now it should be have the alternative. We have the refrigerator during our time where freon gas was used. Mm-hmm. So now we doesn't have that because the environmental regulation and everything uh, has been changed. So uh, what I will suggest that please uh, try to get more and more information on recycling and energy saving uh, fundamentals, which is being going on right now with bio uh, bioculture and with uh, you know uh, the challenging of environment is concerned and the APO free uh, uh, market going on. Try to get that because that will help you in future. Oil or uh, yeah, they. I th- still think that oil will take time uh, to decline because uh, the globally the capacity is very huge. You cannot currently uh, shut down like that. But I feel recycle operations, energy saving, cost saving. There should be boilers in futures where which can run for 30, 40 years where you will not form a scaling. You know, nowadays they where they have some chemicals which 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 which, which uh, uh, oppose your scaling or which decline your scaling by years, uh, 10 years, 20 years like this. Mm-hmm. So in general, I am giving the idea that you know the cleaning and the recycling and environmental is play playing an important role right now, and we need engineers for that actually. Mm-hmm. Amazing! Thank you. So, well, th- thank you so very much for sharing that very keen observation. And and you're very right. I mean, oil and gas is here to stay. I mean, they have been ruling the, the industrial world for the past hundred years. They're not gonna they're not gonna disappear overnight. Thank you for listening. And if you have not done so already, remember to become a free member at Chemical Engineering Life. And do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay tuned for more upcoming podcasts with chemical engineers. Thank you and have a great day.